October can be a fairly tranquil month over the lower 48, but it does have its moments, and we saw that over the last few days with a big Arctic blast coming down from Canada. The tropics, they can be active too, but not too much going on right now. Let's take a look in our tropical update, then we'll refer back to the lower 48. Here we go, and as we look at the big picture, there are a couple of areas that we are monitoring, but nothing shows any imminent signs of developing. This is an old frontal boundary here. This is actually the front that blasted through the east and behind it came in all the cool air. This is where it's ended up, out here in the Atlantic Ocean and all the way down into Cuba and actually down toward the Yucatan Peninsula. There appears to be maybe a, a wave, if you will, a little area of low pressure trying to develop here along this front, but of a tropical nature, of tropical origin, no, it doesn't appear. Uh, that that is likely, and even if it does, the upper level wind flow would take it out into the Atlantic. Still, this area off the Carolinas and off Florida may be a little bit stormy over the next couple of days, but it looks like most of the stormy weather would stay well offshore. As we head into the Caribbean, fairly tranquil. Over Jamaica, we've seen a few thunderstorms develop over land here. Again, this is the tail end of the front here, back into Cancun and Cozumel. And we've had disturbed weather off of Central America, off Nicaragua and uh, Panama, Costa Rica for several days, but nothing seems to be organized. There may be a weak area of low pressure here, but this is all generally headed right over Central America and may reemerge back out into the East Pacific. As far as the Atlantic is concerned, we've been watching a bit of a low-level circulation here for several days, kind of meandered its way west, but look what's happening. Upper-level winds are just blowing the tops of these thunderstorms well off to the northeast, very common in the central Atlantic this time of the year to get the jet stream flow a bit farther south, and so development here is very, very unlikely at this point. So let's turn our... Good morning, and thanks for joining us here at Your Weather Today, 10 minutes before the top of the hour on this Friday morning. Of October 12th, mm -hmm. Friday the 13th. Yeah, and what, what's the word? Triscodectophobics. That means that you are afraid. Fearful. Yeah, yeah, afraid of Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. Don't be. Weather is looking really good for you. It is. Well, for some of you. We're looking at some great conditions for you in the east, but for those of you in the plains into the upper Midwest, you'll see a few hit and miss showers and then some thunderstorms developing for you this afternoon. A little unsettled, too, for us in the northwest, but again, great conditions in the east. We will be taking a check on the tropics now. Here's Marshall Cease with that. Well, there was a little hint of it. The Gulf of Mexico is the first stop on the tropical update. Tropical season's not over until the end of November, November 30th, officially. It's really when Mother Nature just decides it's over. Bay of Campeche looking pretty good. We've had a swirl in the atmosphere here uh, down near the surface that we've been watching in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, looks like a little low pressure swirl, but it's going to be moving over Mexico. Probably will not enhance much of the moisture over South Texas today, so we think South Texas is going to be able to clear out a little bit south of San Antonio. Gulf of Mexico is looking pretty good, actually. Down to the south off the Yucatan Peninsula, where that old frontal boundary has lodged itself, and over Cuba and the Bahamas, that's where we typically find development if it occurs during the month of October or November. But nothing looks like it's developing right now. There is a lot of disorganized convection to the east, though, in the Atlantic, and some of the computer models indicating some low pressure developing out here, which could happen, but we're pretty much protected from any kind of threat to the east coast of uh, the United States, so we're not concerned about that. The Caribbean Sea is looking just fine also. See a hint of some southerly winds south of the Lesser Antilles, and that's part of what is influencing this area of disturbed weather and has over the last couple of days south-southwesterly shear, so it can't get its act together. It's one of those situations where if that shear were to lessen or go away, we could get some rapid development of this system. It had the characteristics over the last couple of days of trying to make it, but it uh, does not look like it's going to. Now, we are just, uh, what, about a month, uh, two months away from official start of winter, and uh, John Scott has got some information on just what kind of a winter. <laughs> 